Every time Clockla comes around this blimp, I have to, I just clinch my butthole just so hard. Welcome back to the app, guys. When we last left off, we were about to get into another slide mission, so let's get back in it, guys. To disable that engine room, you and I are going to have to work together. Happy to have you along, Bentley. What do you need me to do? Pickpocket the guard's keys to the engine room. As always, Once I need you to get your open. filthy mitts inside some greasy, tight pockets. Don't these guys have their keys. Won't take me time at all. In fact, it'll t probably take me about as long as it takes me to usually pickpocket someone. Seventy years. Alright, let's get this guy's butt cheeks in my hand. I'll give him that vibration. That sweet, tingly sensation. Goodbye. Ah! To the abyss with you. Goodness, there's so many that I need to grip. Rip, dip, and grip. This guy, I think he's safe. No one's ever safe when I'm around. No. Okay. Well, I'm gone forever. Here's an alarm clock. Disregard whatever I was doing. Good day. That is probably one of the coolest moves I could possibly get. Getting obliterated right now, guys. Just absolutely double cheeked up on a Thursday afternoon slapped around all right let's try this again hopefully with less shenanigans glad no one heard that Pepperidge farm remembers but Pepperidge Farm ain't just gonna keep it to Pepperidge Farm sell free of charge. Maybe you go out and buy yourself some of these distinctive Milano cookies. Maybe this whole thing just disappears. Hey, look, a key. Convenient. All right. All right, all right. Mm. At it, back at it again, guys. A medium nugget pulled straight out of this bird's butthole. Whatever could I, whatever more could I have asked for? Santa could not even compare to that wish list right there. Gone forever. Never to be seen again. Didn't see that one coming. Goodness! I certainly didn't see that one coming. Goodness gracious. Ow! Where? Oh, where? You know, I thought the fan blades would have started to kill me. N certainly not just falling to my doom, but I should should have been a little more. I don't know what I was going for with the word there, but sure. I hear bottles, and they're probably nearby. Oh, goodness. Alright, alright. We're going places, guys? Places we've never seen before. I'm 
not entirely sure where I'm going. Only that I know I'm at the wrong rooftop now. A botel. Hopefully this will lead somewhere that I need to be. A few minutes later. Very close. Get my grippers in there. Ooh. Okay, Sly, I'm waiting by the engine room door. What? Where's that, Bentley? Are you? <sighs> Come on. A little longer than a few minutes later. I, I hear a bottle, guys. I, I know it's nearby. The question is where? It's it's gotta be like right somewhere. I see it. It is right there. Look at that. Now now we can go get the safe here in a minute. That dude look at that. We're we're going places, guys. What more could you ask for? Okay, Bentley, you're on. Yeah, I don't even know what Bentley was going to do. Crawl in small holes to th blow stuff up? I should have known. like this oh goodness catastrophic failure two hours later oh the next level. All right, guys. Up we go. If I'm reading this right, it looks like you need to bomb those power nodes to get into the control room. As always, like another terroristic open. act You'll has be been me. Engineer. I don't know if I have to do them twice or not, but we're going to find out. It does, in fact, look like... Okay. Take it all the way, buddy. Put the override switch and this engine is ghost. i tell you what. Some steamy toast. That's one less Bentley is a god. He took an explosion straight to the face. Straight to the chin. Took like a champ. Oh, goodness. Okay. Let's see what's next, guys. All right, guys. Um, let's uh, hmm. Let's see here. Let us see real quick. Looks like a slime mission as well as the safe over there. So let's go switch out, guys. I will be right back. Give me just a moment. All right, guys. I'm back. Uh, what did I miss? Uh, we're at the safe now. Let's check it out. Sure he did. What's the code, Bentley? 725? That's, there's only so many numbers that people can come up with for these safe combinations, Bentley. What is that? Is that a sneaky fart? Jesus. Shadow power. What does that entail? Um, oh boy, let's do R2. I am invisible. Can I run during this move? I cannot. It is. What is. I guess that's useful? The thing that upsets me about that, though, is that is just literally the. 
the final move that you get at the end of Sly 1 from, I think, the big, the one of the final chapters from the Thievius Raccoon is. So Sly would already know that ability. Why is that unlockable here? Why, why don't I hope? Why don't I have that ability already? I need these answers. Let's get back in it, guys. This engine room is locked down tight. Since we can't get in, I figure we'll have to destroy it from the outside. Of course. I hope you're carrying some heavy explosives, Bentley. He always is. Engine isn't small. Bentley is a professional so terrorist. Then there's already supply of explosives Look. already available. On need the I say more? Lock one of these TNT barrels up to that engine room. He was destroy. strapped, ready to go. Sounds easy enough. What's the catch? The initial payload in that TNT barrel won't be powerful enough to do the job. If you pick up three magnetic chargers, you should achieve the necessary blast force to destroy the engine. It's simple, really. Just it, yes. Close to the of course it is. To Bentley, to you go boom boom everything. All right, let's blow stuff up. Sly, Bentley has finally achieved happiness now that he's indoctrin indoctrinated you into his demolition expertise, I should say. His pleasure that he gets through demolition is impeccable. Okay. This is gonna be quite a lengthy excursion. Goodness. Oh, no. You didn't see anything. You, you totally don't smell my raccoon butthole in this barrel. Like Toucan Sam over there, just on stilts. Alright, alright. Alright. Didn't see a thing. Onward to greatness. I'm not even remotely sure how I'm supposed to get the one up there. But we're gonna we're gonna try. Every time Clockla comes around this blimp, I have to, I just clinch my butthole just so hard. Cause you know, I'll be I'll just be vibing, running around this whole place, and then out of nowhere there's a giant owl ready to just obliterate me at at a at a moment's notice. This guy needs to pass by. He needs to go bye bye. All right, Brad. Yes, it's disregard me. Ain't nothing happening here. Please do not touch me. Do not become such. No. Well, I have failed. Very convenient indeed. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Alright, now all we have to do is just simply get up there. Which I think I know how to do by going the long way. Goodness! Disregard me. I'm just simply another explosive device that you're very close by our vicinity. Nothing to see here. Apparently Bentley needed me to strap on the uh, the G virus to these explosive device that I'm sitting in to enhance the explosive power of what I'm really bringing to the table right now. Goodness. This almost seems like the escort mission of Sly 2. I mean, it is simply just point A, point B, go. Yeah. Disregard this random barrel of TNT and glowing vials that have just appeared in front of you. Nothing to see here. All right. 
already? What what is going on? Goodness! Come on! Have to go all the way the heck over there. Come on! Okay. Okay. Don't suspect a thing. Giant robotic owl. I bet Clockwood gives Sly so much PTSD. Every time he sniffs her or just even sees her in his peripherals, he's having a panic attack. On cue. On command. He's just losing it. Goodness. Alright. Let's blow an entire fourth of this building out, out of the sky right now. Are you kidding me? This guy thinking he's slick. You know, he can just blow me up. Think I wouldn't notice. And he's going to look at me and go, goodness, please leave. Incredibly rude doing this. <laughs> okay. Okay. This guy knew it was done. It was, mm. Okay. So this time. Now I, I give him enough room so he wouldn't blast me out of the sky. And I can only imagine the actual size of the explosion that he had caused twice now. It would have been tremendous. Alright. Wow. That, should be the last time anyone puts that, engine to use. that would have blown Sly back at least 30 yards. Goodness gracious. Unexpected windfall. I've been contacted by Inspector Fox over the shortwave radio. She's well aware of the dire situation we all face if Clockla becomes immortal and has agreed to join forces with us so that we can destroy the robotic bird. Well, that is the kind only catch of her. is that she's unable to locate this blimp on her radar. To help her hone in on our position, we'll need to boost the strength of four local radio towers. Mm -hmm. Once Inspector Fox is in range, she'll take one of us on board to act as a tail gunner in a dogfight against Clock Lot. Uh -huh. This is it. We don't have time for another plan. We're almost over Paris, and if that hate hypnosis light show goes off, well, you know the story. Gah -hoo. All right, all right, guys. Let's see how many what we got left. Is it? I guess that is it. Yeah, dang. All right, all right. Well, what is on my back? Oh, I guess this is the thing. Hmm. All right, cool. Well, it's about that time, guys. So remember to like, share, and subscribe, and ring that bell for notifications. And I'll see y'all guys on the next episode where we finish Sly 2 Band of Thieves.